Yo. I've seen a lot of people asking for a scavs loot guide on streets lately, so I think that's what we're going to knock out today. The map is naturally divided into six different parts based on where the streets are on the map. So I'm going to go around and thoroughly cover each of these six sections and cover what I'm looking for in each spot that I'm showing while I'm doing it. There's a ton of variables at play when scaving, so like instead of covering loot routes on the map, I'm going to go over and just thoroughly explain what's available in each section and what my priorities are when I'm looting those sections. If you'd like to get a more in-depth look into the decision making at play in each of my runs and what factors I look for to decide what to do and what to loot, I'll be live for a few hours today and tomorrow scaving pretty much all day. And if you miss out on that, there should be a video in a couple of days that shows a couple of full length scav raids where I'll break down the decision making for you guys as well. Before we load into streets, I'm going to cover some of the types of spawns and what you're looking for in each of these types of spawns. That way you can understand what you're looking for in each spot and I don't have to list off what you should be looking for every time I show you a new spot. If you're already comfortable with item prices and what kind of loot you're looking for, but you're just here to see what kinds of spawns you might be missing out on on your streets runs, I'll timestamp the video and you can skip ahead to when we start the raid. First off, there's drawers and jackets, which are pretty straightforward. There's a set list of items that you can get out of them and it's available on the wiki here. And of the, all of those items that are available, half of it's junk, half of it's good. It really just fluctuates constantly depending on the market demand. So instead of telling you what exact items to look for, I'm just going to link this market website right here, tarkov-market.com, so that you can check the prices in real time on your own. Because if it's like early wipe, market's different, late wipe, mid wipe, market's different all the time. It even changes day to day. So it's just best for you to come here and check whatever items that you're looking for right away. So if you type in any item in the search bar in the top left, it'll show you whatever items contain the words that you've typed so far over here in the middle. And on this right side, it'll show you what the highest price any of the traders will pay you for it. And then on the left here, it'll show you how much it's averaging on the flea right now. I typically aim for every item that I have in my bag to be worth more than 20k per slot if I'm going to full loot the map on a scav run. But you could definitely lower your threshold if you're a little bit newer and you just want to clear a couple areas so that you have like a good baseline, like a 12k, 13k per slot. And that way you can just reset and do another raid back to back to back. And you can get a lot more raids per day in than I would if I'm going to full loot a map and try to aim for 20k per slot every raid. The best things that you're looking for in a drawers and jackets are mark keys, check 15 key, just a lot of keys that are actually really good, as well as intel folders. But there's also, like I said, a whole list of items that are all worth a little bit less, like 20-30k an item that are worth grabbing as well. The next type of spawns that I'm going to be looking at as well are duffel bag or dead scab spawns. Just like drawers, the list of items in them are very long, and instead of going through each item and telling you what's worth it and what's not, especially when item prices are so variable, I'm just going to refer you to the Tarkov-Market.com again, because honestly, when you're newer and you're trying to figure out item prices, that thing is going to be your best friend. I've been really lucky this wipe, and I've seen over 10 GPUs from duffel bags, but I don't even know if it's so much luck as it is. I'm just a little duffel goblin, and I hit every single duffel on every loot run that I do that's in my path, at least. It's definitely worth it to hit any duffel that you see, because they can have anything from Bitcoins to lead X's to GPUs and pretty much every other item in the game as well. Next up, there's PC blocks. The only things that are really worth more than 15k per slot in a PC block are the CPU fans, PSUs, solid state drives, and GPUs. And even then, PSUs don't really go for 15k a slot all the time. You kind of have to wait for the market to go up if someone buys out a whole bunch of them for their Intel or for their uh, GPU farm. I mean, the baseline will go up to 70 or 80k per power supply unit and you can sell them then. And obviously, like I said, the best thing you're looking for out of PC blocks are just graphics cards. Those are like 800, 900k right now on the market. And every time Bitcoins go up, GPUs go up even more. The next one that I'm going to cover are med bags and med boxes. Med bags have all the same items in them that med boxes do. Except for med bags also have chances to spawn a bunch of other healing items and stims that are all really valuable. Again, I'm just going to refer you to the market because half of the loot in these bags are worth less than 10k per slot. Like the S marches and the splints and bandages and stuff. But a lot of it is worth a lot and you really just got to figure out for yourself which ones are the best depending on how the market looks at that time. And then obviously the best thing you can get out of these are lead X's and defibrillators. There's also a lot of ground loot spawns that I'll mention. There's a couple different types of ground loot spawns all around streets. But whenever I mention one of these types of spawns it can have all the items that are listed here as well. So there's mechanical spawns. The main thing you're looking for out of these are like nuts and bolts and expensive tools and thermites, hoses, stuff like that. 
there's med spawns, and you're really just looking for anything that's worth more than 20k a slot, but the best things in here are Ledexes and Defibrillators for sure. There's tech spawns, which obviously you're looking for GPUs, Tetris, motors, PSUs, stuff like that. And then the last one, I refer to both as rare spawns and valuable spawns throughout the recording, but they're both the same thing. These can all have any of the valuable trinkets from like GP coins to Bitcoins, eggs, skulls, chains, everything like that, and all these statues as well. Now that we've got all that covered, let's head into streets and I'll start showing you around. Alright, well, that's one way to start off the gun. <laughs> I think I've killed this guy before this wife, he's pissed. I'm just gonna finish looting up here and then I'm gonna go up and start in the cardinal corner of the map. We have Beluga and the Pinewood Hotel over there. And then that is the post office building. This right here, this whole building from there all the way around to there is called the President's Building. And then it's Cardinal Hotel way up at the top. And then Cardinal Apartments are, like, deep in there. This building... There's one safe all the way around the back here in the Terror Group building. Which is right in here. And then around here as well. And then in here there's four drawers. Right here. There's usually a grenade or ammo box right there, and then a 4x4 right there. Normally I just hit the safe and walk through, unless I'm really trying to stack and the raid seems dead. If I got like a big ass rig and a big backpack, I'll hit the drawers everywhere I go as well. In this building, there's a med bag right here. And then there's another one that spawned right there. And then all the way up here, there's this barter spawn, and then there's this weird safe. So in those shells, rare items can spawn, or just safe loot can spawn. But then you can also close it and then search it like a normal safe. It's really goofy. I don't know why it works like this, but it does. And then there's one other thing that I checked in this whole corner of the map. Before I go to it, over there is the Expo Checkpoint Extract, if you're at PMC. There is a uh, dead scab, or two dead scabs and a duffel bag back there you can loot, but it's so out of the way that unless I spawn there, I normally never hit it on a scab. So this pharmacy all the way back here, I normally don't hit it unless either I spawn, like right up there, or if I... Uh, I'm going to extract at the Cardinal Apartment Parking Complex extract, which I'll show you. But there's a med bag spawn right here, a weird, like, uh, clean supplies, like, mechanical spawn there. And then there's med spawn right there. There's a med bag spawn right there, but it's not here as well. Med box here. There's a med spawn, like, on the top of the shelf here, as well as right here. And then a bag right here. And then there's another med bag here. And then finally there's a med bag right here. It's definitely worth checking. You usually get like over 100k worth of loot when you come through here. If you're in the area, it's definitely worth checking out. I'll explain this now while I'm walking onto the next section, but... Actually, let me show you the extract first. So, Cardinal Apartment Parking Complex is right under me, right under this awning here. But if you're coming from this side of the map, you can literally just walk up to this post. If you're here at night time, this one is off and all the other ones are on, so you know you just walk up here and climb over. And then right here, you can start extracting. You don't even have to drop down, you can just sit on top of that. And then in here, in the front of presidential building. There's two stacks of drawers and a duffel bag here. I'm not gonna loot drawers on this run, I'll just show you guys where they all are for the second time. The duffel bag here. Blood sets and capacitors are both under 15k, so I just don't touch them right now. I should be grabbing them if I was really trying to profit max, but I have a pretty good feeling we're going to be able to fill up every slot with something more than worth more than 20k if we do this whole run. 
There's a stack of drawers here. And two more stacks of drawers here. Another duffel bag right here. And then another duffel bag spawn right there, but it's just not here right now. I don't think you can open these yet. They're still bugged. You just gotta go around and go in the window right here. But these two rooms, that room and this room, have saved so many sky runs where I'll just have no loot. You come in and you hit 20 drawers and all of a sudden you're loaded. And drawers are like the secret weapon for sky runs. They, they spawn with stuff like pox or M machine parts, nuts and bolts, sasses, and they can also have stuff like intels and a bunch of barter items that are worth a lot of money. But everything is really worth grabbing except for a couple items. But you just look at the market and see what everything's worth. Stuff like batteries will spawn in there too, and those are bad. There's 12 more drawers here. And then I don't think these are lootable. Yeah, they still aren't. Okay. So just those 12 drawers. That's all there is for this corner of the map, though. This next section is going to take a while to get through, because there's a whole bunch of places where they have valuable loot spawns that are just free. And there's also a lot of drawers. So again, that's President Building, Beluga, Pinewood. And then we're going to start right here. This is called Golden World on the map right here. There is rare spawns all over here. So pretty much any of these shelves on these middle three consoles will have rare spawns on them. There can be rare spawns right here, right here, right here, and then just all over the floor. I would advise instead of trying to memorize all of them, you just kind of walk over and move your mouse back and forth and hover loot this whole floor around any of these little stands on the ground. You could also just commit it to memory and figure out where they all are, but for me, I just walk through and hover loot as I go past. It takes like 20 seconds to loot the room and then you're out of here. It's easier than learning every single spawn for every single place, at least. So you can either go all the way there and go through the restaurant, or you can just come right here through this door, which will be closed normally. And these shelves all have mechanical spawns. Eight drawers. Food spawn right here. There's a valuable spawn that can be like bitcoins right here, right here, and right here on the ground. There's all three of those can spawn valuables. There's going to be a lot of those that I'm going to show you, so I'm just going to call them valuable spawns from now on. And there's a dead scab and a duffel bag here as well. Inside here, there's like a rare barter spawn. I've seen pro kills and green bats and stuff like that. And then this building's called Mail. This is where I started out, where I killed that guy earlier. So coming in here, this is normally the route that I take, is you just go straight up these stairs. There's a spawn in there that can be like good ammo. There's a bunch of mechanic or tech spawns on here that can be GPUs on that map. They'll like stick out from it. Dead scav and ammo right there. And then ammo here and a duffel bag. Mechanical spawns here. Early wipe you can find like hoses and stuff that'll go for 100k. That's a really good find there. There's an ammo box here and a grenade box right here, but they're not there in this raid. This is called the oven room. This door will be closed normally, so you gotta open it, but in here there's a valuable spawn in that book. In this drawer and in this chair. Food spawns on the tables there, as well as value spawn right there and right there on the floor. And when I'm saying food spawns, all of these, what you're really looking for there is sugar. You can also find like alcohols and they'll be worth a lot, but mostly it's just sugar that you're looking for on all those. So there's a toolbox right here. There's a duffel bag here. You kind of want to hug the wall while you do this in case someone peeks that door. And then there's ammo spawns right there. Up here on the third floor, or I guess it's fourth because second floor doesn't exist. There's two jackets here, as well as a toolbox. There's a dead scab right here. Dead scabs and duffel bags alike are always really good to hit. Dead scabs can have like armors on them that are really good. I've seen like a Zuck 6, I've gotten good rigs out of them. I really like hitting dead scabs when you get a bad rig on scab runs because you can get stuff like black rocks and MPPVXs out of them. There's a computer spawn right there that I just looted. And then in here, on the floor, there's nothing here this time, but it's somewhere around here. There's a tech spawn. I saw a GPU there last one. And then there's a jacket on the wall here. 
And then there's a duffel bag here as well. So this is the stairwell that we came up initially. And there's a door with the dead scav. And the mat with the tech spawns. And then in here, there's food here and there, as well as all of these chairs. And in this room where I found that guy initially, on the table right here and right there, there's a valuable spawn. There's a computer block here, drawers, and then right here in the doorway, people always miss this one, but there's a rare spawn right here. So you gotta stick your nose in there, because if it's like a Bitcoin or something, or a Veritas, it won't really stick out. Looks like our boy got looted. I think that guy with the pilgrim came through and just vacuumed up all the loot. There's food spawns all over here. Oh well. So in here, there's food spawns and ammo spawns on the table here. Again, you're just looking for sugar. PC block there, there, and there. As well as eight drawers here, and four more there. And then this final room in the mail building. I always like to jiggle peek that because some people will sit at the end of the hall and just wait for someone to come through here and stick their head down. But in this box is a valuable spawn. And there's dead scav, duffel bag, med spawns on the floor, PC block, and four more drawers. You can go out that door that was on the left, and it'll just take you right there. But coming out of mail, right here on the steps, right there, there's a tech spawn. I found a GPU there last week as well. And then you can go through that door. Or this little hallway up there and you'll get onto the main street on the left but normally I just cut through here inside this little garage there's this toolbox right here and ammo spawns on the hood of the car so in tar bank here we got med camp check 15 building right there there's a couple things first of all these registers have locked doors here, you need the tar bank key. But if you're really just looking to grab like 10, 15k, some dollars, some euros, you just crouch. Oh, you just look up. Okay, sick. So this register, as well as this safe, has a bunch of cash in it. Each of these is just like a stash of about like 500 to 1,000 rubles. There's some dollars and stuff in there too, usually. And then around the corner here, there's four drawers. PC block and a jacket across the hall from it. No, it's other end of the hall, all the way at the end here. And then you look to the right here. This building has like mechanical spawns, hose, uh, like bolts and stuff on those shelves potentially. And then eight more drawers. This building isn't incredible by any means, but if you're ever doing a scav run, that room at the end of the hall will pretty much never be looted. So that's a free eight drawers that you can get. And then this building is check 15. I just call it check when I'm running through it. There's a rare spawn that's like in this brick. You kind of got to wiggle back and forth and hover loot it. Look for that white dot to show up. Because if it's not a statue, it's going to be hidden underneath the rock pretty much. If it's any of the small loot. In here, there's ammo right there. And there's food at the end of the hall on the floor and on the shelf. You want to be careful if you're coming in here, especially if you're new to streets, you don't really know your way around. People will sit and they'll head glitch right behind that little fence or all the way up there. The door is blocking it right now. But if this door is closed, people can stand on those boxes right there and they can see you right up through that gap right there. And they'll just sit there on like a little pixel peak head glitch and it's horrible. So this door right here inside this room, there's GPU spawns on the floor and on the shelf here. And then Bitcoin spawns inside of the suitcase here, as well as a jacket right there. Four more drawers. Tech spawn on the table right here can be a GPU. Valuable spawn right there, like in on the blue tape of the box. And then a dead scav here. There's a Bitcoin, like rare spawn here, as well as on the shelf there. And then there's tech spawns all on that table that can be GPUs, as well as a PC block right here. In this room, all along this bed, there's ammo and food spawns. And then right on top of this magazine, and right here on the shelf, there's valuable spawns that can be anything like a Bitcoin. 
and then all along BS that's five four five or seven six two five four. All along these it's food you see it can be sugars it can be moonshine and then inside this box there's a text bomb and there's also one more food spawn like right here on the table there's a duffel bag spawn right there more food spawn on the table as well as on the floor right there and there what of you that there's med spawns there right here right here and then on the floor right there there's also normally a med bag spawn right there or a med box i mean and then there's food spawns there and here that can also be ammo as well as a duffel bag and then in here there's also a jacket and the last place that i'm going to show you inside of check 15 the last two places this room there's food and ammo on the table here as well as on the windowsill and there's a text spawn there there on the floors there that can all be gpus tetris stuff like that there's food and ammo spawns there there and there as well as a valuable spawn that can be a bitcoin inside that box and then on the top floor here this is the only free iron gate room and inside of this little pot, there's a rare spawn, and there's also food and ammo right here. This bench also has ammo spawns. And then if you go down here, this has a rare spawn that's normally just like statues. I've seen like horse statues and stuff. I don't think I've seen anything too valuable. And then food spawns here that I've seen Moonshed on. Food spawn and ammo spawn there. Ammo and food on the bed and on the floor. As well as in the rubble right there. On the couch right there and there. Food spawn right on the guitar right there, right there, on the floor and on this shelf, on this couch, and then right in the middle of the table here, as well as the back of the table here. That's more food spawns. Actually, condensed milk's like 20k right now. And there's also tech spawns back there on the floor and on the washer. So you can get out of here by just climbing through this window and then crouching and looking down. And you can also get into here by just climbing onto this bench. So you just hit W in space, and then you stand still. I'm not touching my keyboard at all. Just crouch, look down, and then hit W, and you're in. Just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through all that. We're going to go around the side here. Do I have the arch? Please tell me I got arch. Alright, we do have arch. So I can show you these last couple spawns quick as well. So this is called the negotiation room. Inside here, what you're looking for, there's a handful of duffels, but the main thing you're looking for is the relaxation room key. Ooh, hold up. So the relaxation key, the relaxation room key has 12 guaranteed spawns in here. First of all, there's a valuable and then a tech spawn right there on the table. But it can spawn right here in this little holder. Right up here next to this, like right where my cursor is. It can be hanging from that little key holder. It can be in here on the back of the hookah right there. There's a duffel bag spawn there. And there's all these ammo boxes and stuff. This requires a negotiation room key and there's one spawn on the table on the back left as well. But it can also spawn right here, sticking out of that little hole. As well as sitting on these two little, like, resting between those. And I'll show you the relaxation room key later. And what it opens and where all the loot is in there. So in here, there's a skull. Inside of this little eye right here, it can be there. It can also be sticking out between his legs right there. And there's also PC blocks and duffel bags in here. So even if the key is looted, these will probably all be looted too, but it doesn't hurt to check. Every time you're in a sky raid, it's free. You just check it. It's guaranteed to be in one of these spawns, so if you're the first one here, you'll get it. There's another spawn right here next to the umbrella, like sticking out underneath that little tent. And then again, duffel bags and PC blocks. In the back here, duffel bag. It'll be right there on the washer, but it'll be right here behind the pizza box. So either it spawned inside negotiation or someone else already came here and got it. And because everything's looted, I'm guessing it's the ladder. I'm going to try to skim through these last couple ones. 
I normally don't loot this vet office unless I spawn back here just because it's a little bit out of the way and the loot isn't great. But there's like adrenaline spawns here and there on those shelves. There's a uh, suitcase right there and then a med spawn on top of that. I've seen a Ledex on top of that and then suitcases can have a bunch of valuable spawns. They have like a really high valuable spawn rate for some reason. And then there's also stashes back there, but I would advise you just look up a stash map if you want to learn stashes. I don't really like stash running, unless it's really early white. So this is the school building. The main things to loot in here are really quick. And then in this back office, there's a rare spawn, like on the shelf right there or right there. I've got like a Veritas last raid, I think. I just don't have the recording of it. And then if you go down this hall, take a right all the way at the end here, these benches all, there's like a duffel bag spawn there, 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 and there. And then in here, there's med box and med bag spawns, like right there, 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 and there. Those can all have lead X's in them. This is the x-ray text room. There's four drawers there. And then up here, there's eight more drawers right there and barter spawns on the table. <clears throat> okay, well, I already showed you guys this building, which is the x-ray. And then I pretty much got all the school here. Just making sure this isn't like that goose doer or some, all these med bag spawns. And then coming out of here, this is where I was going to before I uh, tragically perished. I'm just gonna check pockets on my way through here because I'm still looking for a bloody key. There's Expo Checkpoint down there. This red building right here is called Showcase, but it also has this gate right here. This is the from Sky Arch. Extract. Come Shatskaya. Never mind. I've been calling it the wrong thing the whole time, but I call it showcase because it's got all these little showcase things in them. There's a duffel bag spawn right there, but these two also have rare spawns in them. I've seen like pro kills and stuff before. And then right here we have a toolbox. And then upstairs through this door there's two jackets. And there's also like a gold chain spawn on these chairs. But normally if I come through here, I'm just coming to extract. And there's like a duffel bag spawn there, I'll hit and just leave. Over here, there's normally a toolbox spawn right there. And then the final building, which has the bloody key in it all the way up there for the door quest. This one I call Pitbull. Because when you come all the way back here into the back corner... Mr. Pitbull's executive office with the casting couch and the picture of him man himself, Mr. Worldwide on the wall. He's missing the goatee though, he must have shaved recently. Anyways, there's a safe right here, as well as a PC block. And then there's like money spawns on the shelf right there, as well as four drawers. And then this room right here, duffel bag on the left and right. Right and left respectively, I guess. And then PC block here as well. And on the other side of the lobby, there's this room, security, which has a PC block and four more drawers. And then this back room, which has a duffel bag right here, four more drawers, and then this PC block, and then another one on the left over here. And as well as a toolbox in the back corner there. And then I lied, there's one more building after Pitbull. In here, there's a dead scav. This is the stairwell that goes all the way up to Bloody Key. And then if you keep going up all the way at the top, there's like the bloody key door and there's a weapon box up there, but that's about it. But if you go out this way, this last green building right here is the only other building with good loot that I check. Especially on a scav run, I really like this building because everyone will come in here and they'll hit these four PC blocks and check that dead scav. PC there, 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 and there. There's also med spawns on the floor right here. This one's a trim it all. I've seen a Lennox on this couch before, as well as defibs. But the real reason this place is good 
is because there's a back room right here. It's got 12 drawers that I'll always check when I'm doing scav profit runs. Like I said before, drawers are just the saving grace of scav runs. There's so many good items in them. And when you get giant chunks of them like that, you'll find office buildings with a bunch of them. You can leave a room with 16 drawers and you'll have an extra 100, 200k on you. Or you'll find an intel and it's an extra 400. Next, we're going to check this bottom left corner of the map. I'm going to start in this construction area and then loot all of Concordia free spawns. And then we'll loop around the med camp after I show you the extract that's over there. Gotta make sure I'm voice lining because I got a U lock and a body armor, a kill armor on now. So this is the construction area. There's a duffel bag right here, a jacket, and then another duffel bag right under that. I think that's a scav leaving through the sewer manhole. He's just unloading for fun. That's what it sounds like. There's a grenade box here. Weapon box there. I think there's another grenade box here, it's just not here. And then toolbox right there. There's a technical crate right here. There's a stash down here. There's a weapon crate here. Weapon crate there. And then there's this last tech supply crate, or it's a toolbox, I guess, right there. And then a weapon box right there. This guy's gonna think I'm following him. There's a dead scav right here. Toolbox right here. Toolbox right here. And right there, as well as a green box there as well. You can really come through here and take like 200k worth of items out of these toolboxes if you check them all. In here, there's a toolbox and a duffel bag there and there. Two boxes right there. And that's almost all. This last little thing right here, the toolbox there, and then two jackets on the wall here, and a duffel bag on the bed, as well as another green box. So now we're moving on to Concordia. All right, so Concordia, starting out, I'm gonna show you over here. I actually spawned over here, so I'm not gonna have this extract, but the sewer manhole extract that I'm pretty sure that guy just left at is right here. You just stand right on top of it, and you'll start getting out of here. So there's a free room up here that has valuables in it. This is where Concordia 64 is. There's a dead scab right here. That's Concordia 64, it's not normally open. The only thing over here is this room. That has a duffel bag there and there. And then in here, this is Concordia 63. And then this table right here, as well as this couch and floor has food spawns. And then this is the free room, inside the suitcase right there in the middle, as well as in these books, there's rare spawns that can be bitcoins. And then I think I checked earlier and someone had already shot this window out. So I'm not going to have to, to show this off. But essentially, to get into Concordia 63. First of all, there's a suitcase right there. Again, suitcases have good valuable spawns in them. But that window, because it's already shot out, we're not going to have to. You want to be really light for this, because you got to be able to double, like, leap jump. You jump early, and then double jump off this while holding W. And usually you're able to get in that. I think I went, jumped a little bit too early even. You just turn your head a little bit, and that's it. I don't have any heals, so if I fail this one more time, I'm just going to leave. It'll show it off later. All right, you just have to turn before that. That's what that guy did. So right here on the floor, between these and right there, there's rare spawns. There's tech spawns all up in here, as well as on this table that can be GPUs. And on the left and right side of this table, there's also rare spawns. And to get out, you just drop. Before I go and show you upstairs, I'm gonna show you the nursery really quick. In here, on the bed right there, right here, it's like right there, I think. Here. Right there. On the table here. Right under the leg there. On the little mat right there. As well as in this chair right here. Those can all be statues, or teddy bears, or loot lords, or tetrises, or green bats. It's like a toy spawn, I guess is what you'd call it, but... It's just statues and uh, tetris and green bat. So then up here at the top of the stairs, 
There's a duffel bag here and right here, but it's not there, this raid. There's tech spawns that can be GPUs on the floor back there, as well as a PC block. This room is Concordia 34. I'm sure if you watch my videos, you've seen a lot of clips of me just getting free stuff out of there. There's a lot of people that don't know how to loot these rooms, but they still run the keys, so you can get free stuff on a scab if they're open usually. There's ammo and food spawns on the mat and on the floor there. As well as here and right here. Ooh, hold up. That's a find. Yoink. And then you could go down and loot. There's like toolboxes down there in the basement, but I normally just don't touch it. You can also check, see if someone opens security. There's a lot of people that don't know what gun components to grab. So if you look on the market and check each of the pieces that are down there, there's a good chance you'll find something that's like 20, 30k for slot. This last building in Concordia is free room. There's two parts to it. There's the upstairs and then there's the downstairs. Upstairs here, there's a duffel bag right here, as well as a toolbox right in front of me here on the floor. Right there. There's food and ammo in here that I see sugars on a lot. Food and ammo in all of these spots. Right there, and up here. There's a rare spawn, like right here on the floor. Right there, and right there. I've seen bitcoins and pro kills and eggs and stuff like that. Right here on the shelf, bitcoin spawn. PC block as well as an intel spawn in these paper right here. There's a rare spawn in this suitcase that you have to like hover for because it'll hide underneath this shirt. And there's also a rare spawn in this shoe box right here. Alright, now we're gonna go downstairs. This one's a little bit goofy because you can't actually go through here. It's like a dead end if you go through here take a right and it's just an elevator nothing back here sometimes people hide gear back there so if you see this door open it doesn't hurt to go check see if someone dumped something in that back corner but usually you just break this window there's a duffel bag here duffel bag there duffel bag there there as well as on the bench right there and there's also med spawns that i've seen lead x's in right here behind this counter all of these little cubbies and then on the left side over here these cubbies have food spawns syringes are like 20k but food and ammo spawns here i've got like sugars and uh chocolates and stuff in there now i've got six scav rep so i don't mind walking along this but if you think kaban might be here and you don't have six scav rep i wouldn't uh risk it because you can see it right here but i'll show you when i get a little bit farther over right here there's a grenade launch machine gun that a guard sits on. And if you walk right here, it has perfect line of sight on you right there. It's that black thing right there. And you just get exploded. You don't live. There's no chance. I think I heard a guy in here, so good chance we die. But this is the med camp where Kaban spawns. The Lexus facility, whatever you'd like to call it. On this table and this crate on the right, there's all of these, uh, weapon piece spawns and there's also a green weapon box that can spawn right there and a jacket right here and then there's a weapon case right there i think those are snipers that i'm hearing anyways this green crate over here on the table here there's med spawns all over it i've got a letix here this wipe as well jacket right here four drawers and then a grenade box right there on the shelf this place has a lot of rare spawns, but honestly, the best thing you can get here, first of all, tech supply crate right here, and then a weapon crate in the back of the truck. The best thing here for a stab is all the drawers. The drawers are almost never hit by PMCs. So you come in here, there's four drawers here, four drawers here, eight more in that little pile right there, four more here, four drawers there, and then upstairs through here, there's eight there, four behind the door and then there's eight more right here drawers are just a treasure trove for scabs you get so much good like 20 30k items out of them as well as a chance at intels and harder items that you might need for kappa but anyways if you come in the door normally on top of this there's rare spawns 
on the shelf here, here, all of these spots, as well as right here on the floor. Hold on. Uh, that may be a dive ammo. There's also rare spawns right here on the crack, as well as right where that is. And on the left and right side of this table. There's also med spawns that can be lead X's and defibs all around this tarp, so you kind of got to hover with it, because the lead X will sit under it sometimes. And then there's a med box here. Duffel bag. Duffel bag. And that's all that's inside of this building. The rest of the med camp has a little bit more loot, but not too much. I said guy gave that stuff to earlier. So in this garage, there's a med bag that spawns right here. Med box right there. A big old medical supply crate right here that can also have lead X's. And then on the shelf, all the way back here in the corner, you gotta climb over this. On the shelf right there, there's a potential lead X spawn that's like a med spawn. And then in here, I'll check these pockets real quick. I'm pretty sure it's here. There's like a moonshine spawn. I haven't seen it all white, but I know for a fact last wipe I saw one in this crate. It might have been there, but I'm pretty sure it's right here. This looks like some kind of moonshine contraption. I guess it's right there. Rest in peace, whoever this was. And then jacket and eight drawers here. Then duffel bag right there. And then you can also come and check this if you don't have six rep. You can come and check all these bodies. There's always, you know, like 100, 200k worth of gear on all the guards that's left over. PMCs can't carry it all. There's a tech supply crate right there. And then these last two crates, there's med spawns in this white drawer, as well as all on this couch, a duffel bag. Med spawns in this pile right here, and on the bench, and then another med box right here. And then another duffel bag. I'll cover this back street so I don't have to get it later. But that's all for this whole corner of the map. The only thing that's left here is right inside of this door. There's a duffel bag spawn right there. There's like a little warehouse back there that's got some toolboxes in it, but it's a bit out of the way and it's only like two toolboxes, so I don't normally peek it. There's a taxi extract right there. And then right here, there can be a, a suitcase spawn. This is the REA building. There's 12 drawers here, as well as a duffel bag, another duffel bag, duffel bag there, and there. And then on this table, I got like a paracord left right here. I'm pretty sure it's just a barter spawn. And then this is the REA room that's locked. And then in here, this room is normally locked, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But there's like rare spawns on these tables. Duffel bag right here. This room is free, but there's a duffel bag here, duffel bag all the way over here, and then there's one more that's on this wall that's not here right now. And then all of these tables can have like, most of them actually can have tech spawns or a mechanical spawn, like a battery there. I've seen a, like a 1G phone right here, a raid or two ago as well. Food spawn in the middle there. And then tech spawn right here. I'm not too worried about loot, so if we don't make it out of this raid, that's fine. I got 2 minutes and 40 seconds. I want to show you the last part of cinema. You can go in there and look around. If you go in the second floor, right in the front doors, right where I'm aiming, right there, there's like 4 or 5 duffel bags that you should be able to see with your eyes. Like right as you enter, you don't really have to search for them. And if you don't see them, they're probably just not spawned in that raid. But I don't normally loot cinema as well, because it's just all the way in the corner of the map, and there's nothing good over there to scab for as well. So unless you just want a little bit extra loot, and the raid seems really dead, I just wouldn't bother. You just extract a bench app and reset, and check the good spawns. There's a med box here. Med bag here. I think there's supposed to be a med bag spawn or med box on the floor right there. There's one right here. Meds on this shelf right here. 
And then a med box spawn right there as well. All of those can have lead X's. There's a dead scab and a duffel bag there. As well as a med bag right here. What I'm going to show you is the hideout key. Which is the last thing I want to hit on the way out. So hopefully I make it there in time. I don't know if I will, honestly. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm out of hunger. We got a minute 30. I'll show you the hideout key next raid. forgot that I was going to show you this room first where the hideout key is so you used to go through that door to get the key but now it's just a duffel bag right here and it's a guaranteed it'll be right here in the bag every time if it's not there that should mean someone else looted it but there's also a duffel bag right here if you're looking for loot Alright, so coming up on cinema stairs, on the left side here, there's this little bulletproof shield there, and then there's a door right here that you'll unlock with the hideout key. Inside here, there's a toolbox, a duffel bag, there's ammo spawns back here, and then <laughs> right here on this box, there's a Bitcoin. Right there. And a bunch of other rare items can spawn there too, but we got lucky this raid. We still have nine minutes, so I'm going to cover this whole area first, as well as this line of buildings. And then I'll insert a clip right as I get to the door of me showing you all the loot spawns in it. But I don't have the relaxation key on me this raid because I didn't spawn on that side of the map at all. So that's the damage house extract. In here, there's a couple duffel bags if you just walk around. They're like some over there. You might see one right here, actually. Right here in the window. Right against that counter. Right here in this little back door area. And then I think there's one in here. Yeah, right there in the corner. And then... I feel like there's a duffel right there. I could be wrong, though. And then behind here, there's a duffel. And there's also a guaranteed weapons spawn right here on the shelf. So if you're ever doing a zero to hero for some reason, that shelf right there is the way to go. This room I call Clutch, because if I ever am extracting damage house, I hit this room on the way out, it saves some runs. That's just what my friends used to call it, because they'd run, like, med camp and Concordia and mail and everything. And if they didn't get enough loot, they'd come in here and loot this. And these PC blocks would give them, like, GPUs, and the drawers give good keys. Alright, moving on back here. This is where the abandoned factory marked room is. There used to be an exploit where you could go up and crawl through that window, but they fixed it with this patch. I made a point to not show it off in my last video because I think it's a little bit fucked up to be looting the marked room. Or if someone's going to use the key in the raid or something, but... Tech spawn here. You know what? Tech crate, I mean. Actually, propanes are pretty expensive right now. They're like 60k. We'll keep it if I don't find anything better. Then up here, there's another technical crate. There's uh, mechanical spawns there. Right here. Those can be like hoses and stuff too, or elite flyers are good. At the end of that hall is where the door to the marked room is. So right here is a relaxation room. You know what? I don't even need the key. I can just walk in there and show you guys the spawns as well. I showed you where to get this key earlier from that negotiation room building, wherever by check. There's a duffel bag right there. Moonshines can spawn behind like all of these chairs on the sides of them. There's a rare spawn that can be like in this chair. Duffel bag here. All of these chairs I'm pretty sure can have rare spawns in them if you just walk around and hover loot them. And then these tables can have like moonshine spawns on them. And then as well, 
on like the sides and in between the chairs can all have alcohol spawns like moonshine. So there's a front door and then there's another hallway here. There's a rare spot on the floor right in front of this little mannequin. These tables again can have moonshine. It can spawn between those on the sides. I always just hover loot these because I don't know exactly which ones and where the spawns are. So I just walk along the couch and you can do this back and forth and a little white dot will appear if there's something underneath the cushion that you can't normally see. Someone's dropping blood sets and tape. They must have got something good here. And then the same with this side. Moonshine can spawn there on the sides. And then rares here, duffel there. It's a really good room to hit on every sky run if you can get that key. And then this I call Pharmacist House. There's a PMC spawn in this room right here. But there's food spawn on the ground here and on the stove, on the table and everything. Got all be sugars. Food spawn there. There's a tech spawn on the floor here that I've got a GBU from. And then ammo spawns there. Tech spawns all around here in these boxes and books. Ammo spawn right there. And then there's food and a barter spawn on the table there. I think that's all for that floor. And then there's a toolbox right here. This couch can have food spawns on it. You can get your fabrics for textiles and you can get your food there. There's med spawns on the floor here and on this little shelf. Med spawn on the floor here. Right here and in this chair. And there's a rare spawn in that chair and right on the plank cores right there. And another med spawn right there. The most common good things you get from these med spawns are like ophthalmoscopes and uh, golden stars, stuff like that, but they can be defibs and Lenexes. There's ammo on that mattress. And then there's ammo, ammo, food, and then med spawn. These are matches. Someone dropped it for a med, but there's meds in those tubes on that, on the floor, on the floor there and there. And there's a tiny duffel right here. And then if you go through the bottom of these stairs here, this is where we came from. But if you go through instead of going up the stairs, this little office has eight more drawers. And then on top of that, there's barter and food spawns on this table. And there's barter spawns over here that can be like S diaries, uh, streamer items. There's food here on the floor as well as on all these shelves. I've gotten moonshine off of these shelves before. It's a really good place to replenish if you need food. Bed scab here. I forgot to mention over here, but there's a safe right here as well that you can hit. Always got that sausage in it. And then, if you come around here, this yellow building is finance. If you get finance or finance south, there's doors in there you can hit. That sewer river extract if you're PMC, but for scav extract right here in the corner behind this door. This is the uh, entrance to catacombs exit, which we're going to take. And then when I get back, we're going to cover MVD. I'll explain why, but we're not going to cover Pinewood Hotel. And then I'm going to cover the mall in Beluga and behind Beluga. And then we're going to get out the uh, entrance to Catacombs Extract there. There's finance right there. Relaxation room keys down there. We're moving up into the fifth section of the map right here. Um, on the left side of it, there's that whole Pinewood Hotel. The loot density over there is really bad. There's like maybe five or six duffel bags or two or three dead scabs throughout the entire hotel. You're much better off honestly just running past it and going anywhere else on the map and the time spent running to that other place you make up in the just volume of loot that's in that other area of the map. Pine was just the worst. But if you're really looking to avoid conflict, it's a good place to go to just check a couple bodies and bags and dip. So this is the school. There's a med bag right here. Med bag on that table right there. There's a uh, rare spawn in this little bowl. Potential rare spawn, I guess. There's ammo. I guess a PPSH spawn right here. That's crazy. And then a... Uh, I've never seen that. And then a grenade box right there. We'll take it for now. And then a bunch of ammo up here as well. And then right here is the MVD key. It's pretty common to get if you're looting a bunch of drawers and everything. So I'll show you a little bit through the window. But there's a duffel bag here. And the toolbox on the chair right there as well. But if you're looking to loot MVD, so inside here, on that printer, you can see there's a chicken. There's a like rare Bitcoin spawn on there, on that chair and this chair. 
right on the floor there, like pretty much right where my reticle's aiming, right behind that dead scav, there's a rare spawn. There's also a dead scav and a duffel bag in there. And then I think there's one like behind the water cooler tubs, and then there's like a little water cooler right here. You saw the white thing, white box there. There's rare spawns all over that room. You could hover loot it if you didn't really follow my explanation there. It's a little bit goofy, I'm sorry. But it's a really small room, so it's really hard to miss loot if you just look around. And then out here, there's a grenade box if you're looking to stack up on nades on your runs. And then coming out this way, this is Pinewood Hotel in front of me. The one thing I will show you, actually... In this front corner right here is where the co-op extract is. So if you ever find a PMC that's asking to go here or something, you could come in here. And as soon as you get like right here, you see in the top right it pops up. You just walk in there with a PMC and you can get out. You get scav rep for it, you both do. And then moving on to this final section of the map, top right. First of all, there's the mall. And then right there's Beluga Restaurant. I'll show you a bunch of little nooks and crannies in here on my way through. But to start off, the most important thing to check when you're in the mall is the bloody key spawn. It's not tradable, and it's a one-of-one -one use key that opens a very rare room right here on the map. And it's used for the door quest. It spawns in the bottom right here and in the top left of this little pegboard. It can also spawn in the like pockets and bags of scabs, but I just check this every time I'm over here because it's really rare. I still haven't found it in all the wipes that I've played. And then there's toolbox there. It's a toolbox on the floor right there. There's a dead scav right there and then right here if you go through this door there's a whole long tunnel and the one thing that you get through here you can get here to this hallway so i'll show you how to get to this hallway from the other side but if you just come right here there's like a mechanical spawns in here but there's also eight drawers and a duffel this is free eight drawers it's like never looted i've never seen it looted once at least and then in here Toolbox. There's like mechanical spawns all over here. I've got nuts and bolts off of these drywall panels. But this goes out to the mall again. This is that room that had the dead scab in it. But normally I don't loot that bottom floor unless I'm looking for drawers. I'll just come right up here. If I'm looking to extract over here in the corner, it's the Killmoth Shopping Mall Xville. Right there. At that door, you just stand next to the door and you'll get out. But if I spawn here and I'm looking to loot away from it, go towards Beluga. I'll go through this door up here. So you just come up the elevator, right here, or escalator, take a right, and then just right here, it's this door. There's a toolbox here. This door is how you get downstairs. This one. There's a dead scab at the bottom here. Actually, that one goes to the mall, I'm pretty sure, but there's a duffel here. No, I was right. So the door over here actually goes to that little hallway I was showing you earlier. There's a, two duffels in this little hallway. But then all the way back there is where I jumped over the rubble. And then like I said, duffel bag, duffel bag. Come in here, dead scav. And then you come up here to the second floor. That's that toolbox I already showed you. You keep running. There's another toolbox right there. And then in here... You don't even have to crouch, you just look down when you're sprinting. This is the toy store. At the bottom of this staircase, there's a little dead scab I can show you, but... That's pretty much all there is for loot in here. That dead scab, and then like some like random miscellaneous spawns. Nothing really worth checking though. But if you come all the way down this hallway, you can either go through... No, it's the door down here actually. I'm pretty sure it's this door. And then come through, there's ammo spawn on the ground right here door at the end of the hall all the way over here there's a dead scab in the stairwell and if you get down to the bottom of it there's a door right here and then you can go through this and there's drawers right there i think that's it in here it's just that four drawers it's not really worth coming back here unless you're really desperate for loot but then this door will take you all the way out the back so this is the Beluga restaurant. You can just climb over this couch like this. But I'm going to show you how to get through here. How I normally do when I come from the toy store. We're going to backtrack really quick. I just wanted to show off those drawers. I'll use that jump over to get to the next loot. So this is that hallway again. If you go that way, you get to the toy store. or You get to the uh, 
the mall at the end, like where the food court and kill Ante spawns. And then this door, you have to breach, it doesn't have to open. But this is the second floor of the Beluga restaurant. So a path from the mall straight to here, kick that door open. There's an ammo box that can spawn there, but if you open this door, no key. You can go up on this couch. And I just hover loot back and forth, because stuff can stick underneath these cushions, but there's like four rare spawns. Where both those items were, and then like right here, in the couch, oh yeah, pro kill. I've got Bitcoins out of there, like, all white. And then if you have the Beluga key, you can come up to this top floor. Even if you don't, you can come up here. There's dead scabs and duffel bags. This door right here is the Beluga room. I guess I'll just show you the spawns. So if you do have the key, right here on the floor, there's a rare item. can be a Bitcoin. Inside of these papers, there can be a Bitcoin spawn. The jacket there. There's, like, streamer item barters here and a medical item spawn there. You get, like, ophthalmoscopes and stuff off of that. There's a duffel bag right here. More streamer items like Dr. Lupo's beans and fire steels and pass and everything. And then a PC block right here. A rare spawn on the floor right there and eight more drawers. And then there's food all along these counters. All over them. And then this back freezer room. There's a dead scav with ammo spawns. Two jackets. And then... There's also a duffel bag spawn right here that's just not there. And then a duffel bag spawn right there as well. And then these tables can have food spawns on them. I've seen one moonshine on the table like one time, but I scan them every time I come up here on PNC runs. So this is that bottom floor that I showed you before when we climbed over this couch. Normally I loot that couch upstairs and then I come down the stairs and vault over this. Anyways, you come all the way back here in this corner. So that door in that window, if you can see it, I don't know if the quality will show it in the video, but that door up there is open, which means this is probably all looted. But up here, you run into this back room, Intel spawns on the table right there, and a rare spawn right there. I got a Bitcoin yesterday from that. There's rare spawns in here that can be Bitcoin. It'll like hide underneath that paper, so you gotta stick your nose in it right here on the table. And then this back corner right here on the table. All of those are rare spawns that can be Bitcoin. And in this room, this is already open, so it's probably cleared out, but there's a jacket here, tech spawn here that can be a GPU, tech spawns here that can be a GPU, uh, food on the floor is there, I've seen moonshine. There's a rare spawn right here in the middle of the case, you gotta kind of stick your face in it. That's like anything, Bitcoin, stuff like that. There's ammo on the couch, and then there's a tech spawn there, there, and there on the floor. There's also a tech spawn right here, where this cord is, that can be a GPU, Tetris, stuff like that. And then there'll be a toolbox right there. And then finally on this top floor, ammo right there. Tech spawn on here, that can be a GPU. In here, on the table right here, as well as on that counter, can all be like sugar. Rare spawn on the floor there, as well as on the shelf there and there. And then, <laughs> no way this got looted and he missed a GPU on the floor, baby. Anyways, tech spawn on the floor there could be a GPU. That is crazy, dude. Should have watched my guide in the future, in the past. You know what I mean. Alright, well, that's about all there is. On the main street, there's a whole bunch of pileups of cars. Actually, you know, I'll go show you. I got the GPU on me. It doesn't matter. But there's a huge pileup of cars down in the main intersection. And there's a bunch of dead bodies and ammo boxes and weapon crates and everything in there. And then there's a big semi-truck with an open back. And it has one of those big green crates that can have, like, a red rebel in it. And once you get six rep, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're six rep or under as a scav, and you go through that middle intersection and Caban is up, there's a grenade launcher gunner that'll just shoot you in the open there. I'm actually just a feast if a PMC finds me. So while I'm walking there, I want to cover a couple things. First of all, like I said, there's that website that you can look up items from anything. So when you're looking through drawers, there's a whole bunch of different items, but it is a finite list. So once you get a good feel for what all the items are and what they all cost, you don't have to really look them up anymore. But I would say if you're trying to min-max your profit, it does really help to look up 
a lot of the items just tab out and have the market open in your browser so this is the the mail building that I told you about post office whatever dead scav here and there market open in your browser you can just look up any items that you're looking for same with med boxes med boxes have like eight or nine items that they can be in that it can be in them as well as stims but any stim is honestly worth grabbing there's this five by two weapon box dead scav so in here, this is the green box I was talking about. These big green weapon crates can have red rebels in them. So I always check these whenever I go past them. You never know. There's an ammo box there. Another green crate right here. You saw how it slid forward when I tried to open it? That means like a PMC looted it before I loaded in. So it's the same thing with drawers. If you open a drawer and you hear it like close and open really quick as you do it, that means that it's already looted. And then these two ammo boxes as well. And then a 5x2 weapon crate there. Dead scav there. And another 5x2 right here. Another dead scav right here. Once you get 6 rep, I love running this part of the map because you usually have a good idea if there's people here when the guards are up. But also, if the guards are up and it's really early in the raid, like say you load in and there's still 40 minutes in the raid, you can go in here and just sit here with the guards and chill. And if a PMC walks up or a scav that doesn't have 6 rep, they'll just get gunned down by the guards and you get free loot. We can also find places to play to like outmaneuver PMCs that are playing around the guards. So like a lot of people when they're trying to take Kaban, they'll sit up against this wall here when they're trying when they're like getting ready to clear this out. So you can just sit in here and they'll never be looking for you if they're just standing right there. You can pop them through that window. I'm just going to finish out looting the scav run. And talk through the things that I wanted to talk about. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to be streaming. This will probably go up Friday morning, and then I'm going to sleep for a little bit. Why am I taking toothpaste are like 30k, 20k sometimes, I guess, but worth taking those. But I'll be streaming all evening Friday, as much as I can all day Saturday as well. And then I think I'm going to upload a uh, like stream highlights, any crazy loot, any funny interactions happen with the scabbing all day Friday, Saturday. But the main goal of those streams is just to be able to show anybody who wants to learn, you know, how I path these routes, how I make my decisions in the middle of the raid based on whatever factors are happening in the raid, what shots I'm hearing, how much of whatever I'm going through is looted. Just anything that a lot of new players probably don't have experience thinking about. Walk you through my thought process and help you pace your scav runs a lot better so you can get a lot more profit a lot quicker. Streams pretty much every Friday or Saturday, or both. New videos every Friday, maybe new highlights every Monday as well. If I miss anything that you guys feel is really important for scav runs on streets, feel free to let me know. I'll probably pin any of the comments that have something really crucial that I just somehow looked over. So if you're uh, watching this a little bit after it was uploaded, you could take a peek down there and see if there's anything I missed, I suppose. And real quick before I wrap up here, I just want to thank the frog enjoyers who were generous enough to go a little bit above and beyond in their support of the channel by becoming members. Just by hitting the little join button right next to the subscribe button there. So a wide thank you to Prox, Captain Pineapple, Doggist, this funny little face guy again, J for Kevin, Vivid Vibes, and the two new members this week, Mladen Vidovitz, as well as Zane. Beautiful. So, uh, subscribe for weekly videos. See ya.